Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. The Force Witch was this year's Halloween tank. And, as we all know, Halloween tanks tend to be, well, pretty good. We've had tanks such as the Helsing and the Drac. The Tankenstein was a bit meh. The Pharaoh, solid, lichen, pretty good. But then you had the frickin' Annihilator, which was Wow, an awesome freaking tank. And it's never been sold again. Why? Because it's so dang strong. This tank, though, it's an interesting one. I'm going to give you a review of it in a minute here. And I've got five games for you today. So hopefully you'll be able to see if you want to pick it up, if you haven't got it already. I will say, though, that since Halloween's come and gone... I don't see that many of these tanks on the battlefield anymore, so that tells you something. Anyway, let me give you a view of the tank. Let's see. Overall, I'm going to go with... This is tough. I'm going to go good for most players. Gun. Very good with a caveat. You've got to be careful about how you use your shells. Armor. Very good turret-wise, uh, but... Yeah, not great, that's for sure. And maneuverability, I'm going to go with okay. Yeah, nothing to write home about, but not bad either. So let's take a look at my loadout. Unsurprisingly, I've gone with calibrated shells. I've gone for the extra hit points, although maybe the armor is the right choice. And I've stayed away from v stab. So yeah, pretty standard stuff, I guess. Anyway, before we get to our first game, I would like to ask, if you haven't subscribed, just consider it. It's absolutely free. But if you have subscribed, tell your clanmates, tell your buddies, I'd appreciate that. Of course, you can like this video and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I try to answer every comment I get. And of course, if you want to donate to this channel and see it grow and keep those videos coming, then you can do so by clicking the link below. There are two options. One is a one-time donation, and the other is a Patreon, where you can choose from various tiers. And with that out of the way, let's get to our first game. Okay, so I chose this game. Uh, first of all, I am lower tier, so that's a problem. They've got a defender who's in a good clan. That's a problem. And you're going to see what happens, but I chose this game. Oh, they've got a smasher as well. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this game. Um, we're going to have to play very passive. We have better mediums, although we have this TS-60, which is an okay tank, but... Mm, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. So I'm hoping that we can just hold off the enemy tanks here and let the meds work their magic from that side of the map. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so one tank's been spotted over there and one tank's been spotted over here. I'm going to use this hold down position and, and we've lost a tank. <laughs> I haven't fired a shot. <laughs> 30 seconds in, boom, one tank's gone. Uh, thanks, SU. So, that's not good news. So now we're at a slight disadvantage over here. We've got three tanks uh, with my, over here, and we've got one in the mid and two tanks on the side there. Huh, okie dokie. I've got one shot in there, but as you can see, this freaking armor is going to be a pain to deal with. So I'm going to try and make his life a misery. Um, and we lost two tanks. <laughs> and there's four tanks coming our way. So yeah. Um, they have taken some damage, that's the good news, but yeah, they've also got base C, that's not good news. And I'm not sure we can hold these guys off. Um, this defender is a problem. Can I get a shot in? Can't quite get it, that's unfortunate. Don't really want to go over this little ridge here where I'm safe, but I'm going to do a little bit of damage. One shot, can I get another? No, he's backing up, and the freaking grave diggers come here. He's not the tank I'm worried about, but now we've lost another tank. So, I'm dead. It's 3v1. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'd love to get rid of the Smasher for our team. If I could do that, I think I've done something. Uh, I've got these four shells, but once I fire all four, it's all over. Now, the Smasher's running, of course, because he doesn't have that many hit points and he's fired already. Two shots in there. I can't catch him. I have no choice. I'm going to switch to Pramo here because I need to guarantee the pen again. I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help my team before I die. I know I'm dead. I know I'm dead. I mean, look at this. Yeah, I'm going to try and run. I'm going to try and run, but of course. 
but amazingly it's 3v3. So let's take a look at how the rest of our team is doing. Okay, the WZ is sniping from distance. Okay, no problem there. Free, free damage, he wasn't lit up, so that's good news. And the Barask is getting A, so that's good. Huh. And I'm like, uh, the defender is low health, so if we get rid of him, that would be good. Okay, it's 2v2. Um, I don't know what happened to the Smasher there. Uh, okay, that was weird. Um, maybe I missed something. Sorry about that, guys. But I've noticed a problem now. Do you notice the problem? You see, A cap? Yes, the Brask has gone AFK, so it's up to the WZ to take care of everything here. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the Gravedigger. He's not the biggest threat. You've got to get rid of the Defender if you can. Why? He's got three shells that will rip right through your tank. See, here's the Barask. AFK. The wrong time. But it happens. Again, but look at that. He's a one-shot. Now, I'm not sure why the WZ is not attacking. He knows where the Gravedigger is. He's at B. So, ignore him. Okay, don't. So he takes one hit. But, yeah, I mean, you had to defend it there. And you could have had to see right afterwards. I'm not really sure what you're doing. So I'm like, oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> so I'm telling him, hey, the Brask's AFK, so you better go. And I think he finally figured it out. So he's going to push in here, take a hit for his trouble probably. Ouch. But he does take care of him, so that's good news. But they have two bases. So he has no choice here but to kill the Gravedigger, really. Uh, because he's got no chance to get the bases now, I don't think. Even if he gets one of them, it won't be enough. Uh, he decides to reverse into the Gravedigger, which is very interesting. <laughs> At least I would give him my front. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. But, wow. Um, yeah, so what was a horrible game from our SU-152, and then the rest of our team kind of fell apart on this side. I did 1800 damage, I blocked 680. I think that's not a bad game considering I got kind of screwed. Now the Brask did a good job. Um, I didn't vote him down or anything, but yeah. Would have been nice if he'd stayed alive, or I mean, stayed active, but I get it. Hey, I guess he hit, so, and he got the base. Anyway, moving on to our second game. They have two Basilisks, okay. We have an IS-2 and a Drac, mm, okay. They have VK, they have a Sentinel, that's not a very good tank. Okay, so, let's see what happens. I was tempted to head to the left side, but I see the IS-2 and the Drac are heading this way. Same as our VK, or is that the Panther? I can't see, eh, whatever. Not important. So I'm gonna see if I can do some spotting. I'm surprised the Drac didn't spot center, because he's so fast, he'd easily be able to get us some information. But I will. No biggie. Okay, let's see what we can do. Chugga, 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 chugga. So I'm going to spot center. <laughs> but our team has gone pretty far down that side, which means they have to be over here somewhere. Okay, they've gone to the base. That's one tank, and there's a second tank, and here's a third tank. And I'm going to stay back a little bit. I've been lit up. The armor on the side of this tank is pretty useless, so if I pop out too early and take some hits from a tank destroyer. It could be very painful, but uh, I'm gonna stay here. Can I get a shot? Well, he's taken one hit, so you know what? Okay, okay, I took two hits, three hits, and yeah, I've paid the price, but I do have my shells to go, and uh, now I'm down to the, okay, I bounced two shells and got hit by three, so not doing great, but that's okay. We've still got plenty of time. Just going for the reload now. I sense they might be coming around the back, so I'm just going to stay, oh, five of them there. Okay, that means our tanks on that side should be able to clear the tanks near base. This guy's coming up. I'm just waiting for my reload. I've got four shells, one shell in, that's nice. Can I get another one? Okay, I'm just gonna go for the reload. In this tank, if you get it, or if you have it and you haven't really played it much, the key is really to just fire two shells and then wait near the end or when the tank is low health then you can go to town with the third shell and fourth shell however there is uh one exception if you have no tanks around you then you can go ahead and just unleash all four shells and then be prepared for a freaking long reload 
if you if you want to anyway. Anyway, this guy's come around and he's gonna make my life difficult. So one, I bounce another shell from the rear, if you can believe that, two shells, and he's gone. So that's nice. So I didn't have to fire my last shell. As you can see, it's red, <laughs> even when I've got it. It's like, don't fire that, don't fire that. <laughs> so a little bit of a warning. Now, he doesn't know how many shells I have. I think that's the one advantage you have in this tank is that newer players will be afraid to push him because they don't know how many shells you got. He pushed in, uh, two shells, three shells. Well, uh, I'm just gonna use this one because it's all over. I probably won't reload before our team just rips right through the rest of them. And there you go. Not a bad little game considering I lost what, almost all, half my health in the first concentration there. So, <clears throat> sorry, a little bit of a <laughs> hiccup there. Confrontation, uh, 2,372, a little bit better, and 840 blocked. As you can see, this armor, especially the turret, does work against those lower caliber guns, and the enemy team was not very good. What can I say? Moving on to our third game. Okay, back on Falls Creek, and this time I'm again lower tier. Not good news, they have a Yag Tiger 8.8. They have a 53 TP, not good. They have a Skoda, not good. Hmm. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Now, last game I went with the heavies. Uh, this time I'm going to go with the meds. My buddy's in the VK, so he's got the tiger there, I think. They should be able to hold. They're fine. All good. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, we've got uh, Defender Mark 1. Fabulous tank. Should be able to clean up against the meds. They don't have strong medium tanks. Now, they've got two tanks there. I'm going to fire a quick shot in before I cross. I haven't been lit up. That's nice. Boom. Okay, that wasn't good. So I'm just going to go for a reload. And look, what do I have here? Okay, uh, no way I can hit him. No way, so Pramo, here I go. One shot. And my buddy's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. That's not good news. And the defender is absolutely getting ripped apart by these tanks at the back. And he's still trying to focus on the heavy tanks. I'm like, you've got two easy tanks to kill over here. Easy. They're tier sevens. What are you doing? You're a hull down god. Let's get rid of them. And I'm whole. Oh, we've lost another tank. So, yeah, think, things are not, oh, gosh, things are not looking good. Defender still hasn't moved. He's still shooting the other side. Um, we lost a third tank. So, yeah, this game is pretty much all over. I'm just hoping to uh, do as much damage as I can before I die. So why am I showing this video to you? Well, it does get a little bit more interesting. Okay, one shot in there. The Defender finally decided that, hey, maybe I should not lose all my health firing at tanks a mile away and take on these weak easy tanks Ugh, i just don't get it boom and he's gone so three versus five now there are only two pieces of good news i can take away from this situation right now number one is they are miles away so i should be able to get a full reload thank goodness the stg is full health he's got a pretty dang good gun but the defender is yeah he is not looking good and he has not gotten the message <laughs> because he is going to sit in front of their tanks and just die. <sighs> For God's sake, hull down. Hull frickin' down. So, two versus five. It's all over. There's no chance in heck that we're going to be able to even come close. But let's see what we can do. I've done okay so far. Ah, one shell. Can I get a second shell? Come on, before they come on in. Ah, I've been lit up. Oh, frick. That's unfortunate. Two shells. I'm not going to fire any. I need all four. <laughs> Three shells. And here comes the STG. So, nice. I'm going to help him out, but oh, for goodness sake. The TV. Sorry, the 53 TP came in. Oh, goodness me. And he's a freaking pain in the butt to deal with. Three shells. So I got all my four shells into him. That's nice. I had to use Premo, but it wasn't going to work any other way. The STG did help me out, but now the problem is, is they are marching in with a lot of hit points, a lot of guns. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. And so now, uh, can I do any more damage? Okay, the yo, but here's the problem. The Jack Tiger, he's just going to shred me. So I'm just going for... 
two shells. Come on. Can I do a little bit more damage? It would be nice. Oh, here they come. So I can't get away. One shell in. And gonna get another one. And two shells. And now it's over. Yep. Nothing I can... Absolutely. So, yeah. Mr. Defender. Ah. Uh, uh, and my buddy. No. I said, buddy, why'd you push in? And he's like, oh, the tiger should have pushed in with me. Um, well, yeah, but you guys got decimated. 3,131. Uh... Yeah, Defender, you get a thumbs down. Tiger, too. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, what can you do? Just, I thought it was a good game to share. Moving on to Destiny's Pearl. And this time, I am in a platoon with my buddy using the VK again. So, we're going against a Drac and two CC56s, which are in a platoon. So, that's something to bear in mind. You should really take note of which tanks are playing in a platoon. Because, generally speaking, if they have a brain in their head, they will tend to stick close to one another and use each other's hit points, help each other out more than helping other players, generally speaking. Okay, I couldn't quite get that shot, but that's okay, because I'll have time to reload by the time I get there. Okay, here I go. So there's one, two, three, four tanks, I think, over here. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I was tempted to go that way. Okay, I'll go this way. Berlin, let's see if he knows what he's doing. Okay, he's not in the best position here. You're a hull down tank. Maybe you should use that or use your speed. Um, but he got out of the way, so that's good news. Now I'm just going to wait for my chance. And this guy, Drac, sit in front of me. Thank you. Two shells. Yes, I'll take that. So, I uh, didn't take any damage from him. The Drac doesn't have the best pen. And I only fired two shells at the side of his tank, so that's nice. But this guy's come around. He wants to introduce himself. Bounce that as well. Lower caliber guns will struggle against this tank. My buddy's doing a great job this time up there. So, um, just waiting for that fourth shell. And I'm getting ready to push on in because I would like to start punishing these tanks who've maybe overextended a little bit. Like this guy. If I can get a shot in, can I, can I, can I? from cover one shell. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta be careful. They might be coming for me. Here they come. He just fired, so I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to pump him full of lead. One shell, two shells, and what the hell, three shells, yes. And can I get rid of him? No need. So now I'm just kinda going for the reload again. He doesn't know how many shells I fired. So he's just nervous. So that's two shells in the chamber. Getting ready. Once I get three, I think I'll be good to go. Three. Okay, and now I'm going to move in because by the time I get around here, I'll have four ready. Here I go. Oh, one. And uh, two. And uh, a three. And uh, yeah, sure. Four. Why not? And there you go. A nice, easy game. 2000 something um, but he did a good job so yeah I think he learned from his mistake last time don't push in too soon so good job buddy um, I don't think I'll be able to do any more damage I'm not that fast uh, yeah unfortunately he's not coming towards me oh maybe he is will I be able to get shot in the answer is no I won't because the team swarms him and so they should so not a bad little game I thought though Again, using those shells wisely. The thing is, this tank, you've got to be careful about how you use them and when you use them. If you mess it up, you can get in all sorts of trouble. But anyway, 2,657 and a little bit of block damage. Yeah. Again, going against tier 6 tanks, you're going to get a lot of blocks if you're in the right positions, for sure. And moving on to our last game, which was probably the most exciting. Again... Did not think we had a chance in this one. Will we be able to pull it out? You'll just have to find it. They have a Smasher and a Force Witch. Oh, frick. And they've got a Cryos. Oh, brother. And a VK. Okay, we have a VK. That's my buddy. And the Eagle. Okay, I like the Eagle, but uh, I'll take a Smasher. Thankfully, we have an SU-100 and a KB-2. So if they make a mistake, maybe we can punish them with those two big guns. Let's see what unfolds. But it is a good game, um, and it was my favorite of the day, so let us see what happens. Okay, someone's gone to the bridge side, 
and he hasn't spotted anybody. So that means probably they're over here. Okay, the KV2 pushes out aggressively. One hit, two hits, three hits. He is almost dead, and he's gone. So, another 40-second <laughs> tank. Um, wasn't as bad as the 30-second, but here comes the SU. Oh yeah, genius. Um, and I'm like, no, no, no SU, no, no, don't sit down in the open. No, 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 one. He just fired two, <laughs> three. I'm gonna try and protect him, but he's gone. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, <laughs> five versus seven. Now, I consider myself a decent player, but they've got a Smasher, they've got a Forest Witch. Uh, okay, uh, I took some damage there, but it's not the end of the world. Oh my goodness me. <sighs> I did not have much hope, I really didn't, and I thought this was going to be the loss of the day in a big way, but we are able to pull things back. That's why I've kept it to last. Anyway, let's see what happens. Here I go. Eagle's over there. Gotta be careful of the Smasher. I'd love to get rid of the Smasher. Um, here's his buddy. He's not going for me, so I'm going to... Ooh, couldn't quite get that shot in. And I really want the Smasher. Yeah, I'm using Pramo. In this situation, I can't take any risks. <laughs> I need to pen pretty much every shell if we have a chance to make this respectable and put us in a position where we might win. Oh, I missed that. That's unfortunate. That's my mistake. Okay, now I've got no shells, so if they rush me, I am totally screwed, but they don't know that. <laughs> so, um, my buddy's doing a good job over here. And yeah, the smash is now a one-shot. I uh, don't really want to go for this guy, but well, I figured I had to go for it. Now I'm going to fake out the Smasher here. He just fired and shot dirt, so nicely done. And now he thinks it's all over. Unfortunately, I've got a long freaking reload. He's pointing up in the air, and he's like, oh, wait a minute, I might get a shot in. So he knows it, but no. So he's gone. Sadly, my buddy was taken out. But 3v3, I'm trying to just reload my shells as quickly as possible. But again, I just have to be patient. <laughs> and he misses that shot. That's good news. Uh, we've lost another tank, but the Eagle is doing a workman job on that side. So good for you. Okay, one shell, two shells. Now we can take out the VK, but I'd like a third shell. I'll push in here. Uh, can't quite get a shot in on this guy. I don't want to push out forward, so I'm going to keep an eye on that angle, but I'm going to punish the Forest Witch here. Okay, here I go. Oh, one shell. Okay, can I get a second? Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, but the eagle helps me out, so great job, buddy. And now it's my turn to return the favor. Um, okay, I'm going to miss that. But, yes! <laughs> so, 5v7. What can I say? In the first minute of the game, I'm like, ah, oh, frick, it's one of those games. But we not only made it respectable, but we actually pulled out the victory. Great job, Eagle, and great job, buddy. Two donuts. Ooh, that's rough going. But somehow we were able to pull it out. A little bit of luck goes a long way in this game. Anyway, do you have the Forest Witch? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Were you disappointed? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz, out.